I have therefore informed the SNP's National Secretary of my intention to stand down as party leader and ask that she commence as a leadership contest for my replacement as soon as possible. In order to ensure a smooth and orderly transition, it is my intention to continue as First Minister until my successor has been elected. I thank Humza Yusuf for his efforts as FM and SNP leader. He took over during a difficult time, leaving the party more united and election ready. The next leader owes him a debt of gratitude. Nominations for the post close at 12 noon on Monday the 6th of May. This week I presented a petition calling for recognition of former Linlithgowshire MP Peter McLagan, a pioneering figure now largely forgotten by the public. Peter McLagan, in case you do not know, was Scotland's first ethnic minority MP. He was also the longest serving MP in Scotland during Queen Victoria's reign, serving from 1865 to 1893. I voted to exonerate Scottish victims of the post office scandal through a UK bill for quicker restitution. I also supported amendments to improve measures on secondary ticketing in the Digital Markets Bill, but the government rejected these. I supported constituent calls for the UK government to encourage the Brazilian government to protect the Amazon rainforest. Deforestation of the Amazon is a considerable environmental threat to us all, um, and it is contributing to the forest's inability to recover from drought, fire and landslides. At PMQs, amid concerns over an Israeli assault on Rafa, risks of UK troop deployment in the Middle East and a worsening humanitarian crisis, Stephen Flynn called for action to save lives. Aid is required in Gaza and it is required because when people are not being bombed, they are starving to death. The solution to that is a ceasefire and the opening of safe ground air routes. Further evidence that real change will only come through independence was given by Starmer's latest U-turn, watering down workers' rights and Scottish Labour's refusal to back full compensation for waspy women. Being no doubt, we need independence to deliver on Scotland's priorities. As always, if you would like an advice surgery appointment or a visit to your local group or business, call me on 01506 654415 or email martin.day.mp at parliament.uk. Until next week, stay safe.